Central Georgia doctors aren't only treating COVID-19 patients, some are also researching treatments for the virus. Navison Health Medical Center is taking part in an international collaboration exploring a drug for COVID-19 patients that helps bring oxygen into the lungs. Ashlyn Webb tells us more about what doctors have learned. Doctors are taking a closer look at a treatment that many in the field are already familiar with. It's typically used for stroke patients, but now doctors are applying it for COVID-19 patients, and they're already seeing promising results. The treatment is called tissue plasminogen activator, also known as TPA. It's used as a clot-busting blood thinner. Dr. Benji Christie says several autopsy reports from around the world show clots in the lungs of COVID patients who have passed away. So that's why they started looking at a treatment used for strokes. But if these clots are forming and we can't get gas across into our bloodstream, if we bust the clots up, it may make it easier for us to get gas to, to exchange gases, have gas in our bloodstream, and therefore create a more survivable uh, uh, environment. After much consideration and research, Dr. Christie says doctors in Navison Health began using TPA on patients in March. The team put together a set of guidelines to best determine which patients to give the treatment to. Those guidelines include worsening lung function and severe hypoxemia, which means there's a low level of oxygen in the blood. Uh, we were comfortable um, with the idea that it would um, uh, change, create some change, physiologic change. We just didn't necessarily know how impactful or sustainable it would be. Overall, Christie says doctors have seen positive outcomes and he's hopeful about the research ahead. You know, there may never be a cure. There may never be an off switch. You know, the best we may be able to do is to identify the most effective methods to care for patients with this severe infection. Just and if we can find a way just to allow one's body to optimize it so that it can endure the insult a little bit better, then that's a win. Dr. Christie noted that this is just the beginning of their research and they're still learning a lot about the treatment and COVID-19 patients, including the appropriate dose and how durable it is. Reporting in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News.